I won't leave what I'm doing in America to come to Ghana and play around. We're doing some serious work there in Los Angeles. President came there, saw me, and said, come to Ghana and help me change the education system. Left my schools with over 200 workers there to come. And I'm coming here to play around. I'm coming here to mess up the education system. If I can improve American education system, I will help uplift my nation's education system any single day. This man is called Dr. Yao Osei Educhu. He's a Ghanaian politician and a member of the 7th Parliament of the Republic of Ghana, representing the Bosomotrian constituency in the Asante region. And on the 5th of March 2021, he was appointed by President Nanado Dankwa Ekufuado as the Minister of Education. He is from Jache in the Asante region of Ghana. Dr. Osei Educhum obtained a bachelor degree in land economy, business administration with a major in real estate from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Ghana. He holds a master's degree in education management from the University of Lavain, California. And also he holds a PhD in education policy planning and administration from the University of Southern California. He is the founder of the new design charter school in Los Angeles, California. But before that, he worked as a mathematics and information technology teacher at the Manoa Art High School in Los Angeles, California for 10 years. During his period, he founded the International Studies Academy, which served as a small learning community for students to rise academically and socially. He also served as the lead mathematics teacher at the University of California and Manoa Art Neighborhood Academic Initiative. He was part of the task force established by the National Research Center for Career and Technical Education to develop a nation model for career and technical education in high schools and colleges in the United States. In the year 2017, Dr. Yao Osei Educhum was appointed by the President Nana Adankwa Ekufuado to serve as Deputy Minister for Education. In 2019, two research bodies voted him as the best performing Deputy Minister of the year. So, on 5th March 2021, he was appointed by the President Nana Adankwa Ekufuado as Minister for Education. Dr. Yao Osei Educhum is very passionate about education. In fact, his dream is to see a Ghana where every child, regardless of their background, whether poor or privileged, will get equal opportunity to access equity and quality education. He believes that for Africa to catch up with the developed world, a lot of things need to be changed in our various education system. And one of the things he's doing to change the education system of Ghana is the introduction of STEM education, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. He also believes that to prepare Ghanaian students to be career ready, schools need to teach and adopt the four C's of the 21st century skills. And these four C's are one, critical thinking, two, creativity, three, collaboration, and the last four is communication. Let us hear something small from Dr. Yaosei Educhum on what he is doing to help the country Ghana's educational system and why he is doing that. I just got the good news that our gross tertiary enrollment ratio has moved from 18% to 20%. So it's good. We can then deliver on the president's promise that by 2030, our gross tertiary enrollment ratio should be 40. But going forward, it means Director General of GTEC, you've got to do your calculation and make sure we are moving up. If Ghana has 40% gross tertiary enrollment ratio, you're going to see transformation of the country. The foundation will have been solid for the country to take off. The research has been done by the Brookings Institution and they tell us that it's going to take 120 years for our education system to catch up with that of the Western world. 120 years. But they said something profound that if you really don't want to use 120 years then you better develop leapfrogging strategies that will catapult you into prominence and lead you on to catch up with the rest of the world. I've taught in education system in developed nations and the ch their children are not better than us. Our children can do way better. But it calls for a new way of teaching and learning. In the new Bloom's taxonomy, 
which is like the blueprint for teaching and learning, the highest level of learning is creation. Those who can use their minds and their hands to create, that is the highest level of learning. The lowest level of learning is comprehension and memorization. But in Ghana, we say they are the smarter because they could memorize the notes of the teacher. So this is a kind of education system we are talking about that there is a need for transformation. There is a need for us to change some things so that we can get better outcomes. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. In the 21st century, we say that we are in the fourth industrial revolution. Things are changing rapidly. In fact, it's documented that 40% uh, of all jobs that we do today around the world will be lost. Uh, in 10 years' time, the world is changing. So if you begin to have a high school system that focuses on home economics, nothing wrong with it, visual arts, nothing wrong with it, general arts, nothing wrong with it, business, good. But you don't look at computer science and programming. You don't look at biomedical sciences. And you don't even begin to think about engineering in high school. Something is wrong with the disconnect between what you are teaching and what they need to do in industry. So when you hear us talking about STEM, we're talking about STEM in all its forms, whether it's biomedical, engineering, whether it's general engineering, we need to move and move fast. We have junior high schools that are under construction now and the facilities in there will be just like high schools. Everything that is in the high school will be there. It's a pilot program and students who go through it will have had three quality years of junior high, move on to high school to do another three years, giving them six years, making them competitive, and making us compete with the rest of the world. We can't talk about robotics and all those big things when the facilities don't, doesn't support that. I don't have a magic wand to just change everything. We don't as a nation, but we're going to start. So you hear of Accra STEM Academy one of the finest schools that are going to be built in this country. If you can show the picture of it, I'll appreciate it. Going to be one of the finest schools in the world. From KG to senior high school. Everything that needs to be there will be there. And it's going to be a model and we'll move on to other places around the country. Because I believe that if you want to be like Singapore, we need to do what Singaporeans are doing. It cannot be that will say that I want to be like the rest of the world, but I'm not going to do what the rest of the world will do, but somehow will become like them. Strides are being made here. So beyond free senior high school, the president is focused and targeted on how do I create a robust education system that will stand the test of time. So you will say that, what about science lab? Yes, we are building science lab, but we are also using virtual labs. As I speak with you, one of the most progressive agencies are the Ministry of Education, Sandlos, headed by Mr. Jemfi Jabo, is doing something very innovative. Together with Open University UK, they are developing lab activities, simulated lab activities. All you need is your laptop and a projector, and you do every experiment that you will be able to do in a wet lab. So we are saying that a new school that has started out is not going to say that we cannot do science because we don't have a science lab. All you need is a projector and a laptop and all the lab activities that have been produced by Sandlos and you can do science just like anybody. You can dissect the floor virtually. You can do chemistry virtually. And the good news about doing chemistry that way is that if you make a mistake, the chemical doesn't blow up in your face. It will blow up on the computer. The computer will not even blow up. That is called leapfrogging inequality. We have to leapfrog. When we talk about introducing STEM education and constructing high schools, focusing on STEM, it's about how do we make sure that our children have the skill set to operate in the 21st century as we talk about the fourth industrial revolution and what they need to do and need to know. So this year I'm excited that we're going to open six new schools focusing on STEM. The rest of the STEM schools will be completed in, will be opened in 2023. We have five STEM universities approved, medium term for construction. It's exciting that we're going to get five 
new universities built. We are also looking at 12 state-of-the-art technical and vocational training institutes funded for construction to begin. Also, the modernization of NAFTI, a great institution that have not had equipment and facilities to really produce the outcomes that we want in the country. The president says NAFTI should be transformed. We also, this year, are going to build 10, 10 out of 35 STEM high schools. 35 STEM high schools are approved under this budget for construction. It's like building Presec 35 times, replicating Presec 35 times across the length and breadth of this nation. 10 of them are going to be done this year. We are going to read two science laboratories in our senior high schools. One of the things that I'm excited about is the construction of 21st century junior high schools in selected urban communities. $100 million allocated for that purpose. Also, the establishment of STEM-based senior high schools, five of them supported by the Badia and Ofid, Saudi Arabia. All those countries have come together and they are building five STEM schools just like the one that we are building in Accra. We have also awarded contract for the building of a, a girls STEM school at Pong Katamanso. It will be on the same camp as land as the Ames. African Institute of Mathematical Sciences. I'm excited about the fact that we have another girls' STEM school uh, being opened. Together, we're going to have schools that focus on STEM, dedicated to the education of our girls. And it's for no reason, it's not for a, no reason that we are doing it. If you look at engineering, currently, only 15% of our engineering students are women. And we don't think that should be allowed to continue. If you look at the laurels that was brought home by mathematics girls, how they conquered the world, it tells you that if we give opportunity to women, they will sell. So the government is doing everything possible to ensure that this happens. So let's look at some of the beautiful pictures. Pictures tell a story uh, more than maybe what I would say. And they say pictures don't lie. Abomosu, this is the campus. This is not our Texas. Uh, rendering. This is an architectural rendering. This is where we are. Um, they'll be working on the external works so that we can open Abomosu to first year students in April. April 4th, when the first year students return to school, we'll be able to open Abomosu. Beautiful school. You look at this. Makes me want to go back to high school. This is Pasempe. Beautiful campus. They are finishing up the streets. And this is built by Nanado Danko Akufuado, the president of the republic. He directed that he wants boarding schools that can bring students from across the country. So when you hear that, what have you built? <laughs> the response is a lot. And we are going to open for the whole country to see. So move on. Kwadasu, Creative Art Senior High School under construction. Let's move on to the next one. This is Daba, also in Ashanti. And Akrodie in Ahafu. And then Awasu, West End North, right? Progress is being made. We intend to open it. It's moving so fast. Move on. Weja in Accra here, overlooking um, the dam. It's beautiful. They will get the breathtaking view. It's a view you will never get at any high school. I'm sure we're going to... <laughs> This is Kwasi, existing senior high school, and so many facilities have been added. Total transformation of Kwasi. Totally transformed. Let's move on. Our so, our dear so, it's also beautiful, breathtaking views. Move on. Ah. This sounds familiar, Bosunche. <laughs> this is not as big as Awasu, but it's cute. Very well put together. Uh, Sterner features is good. We've got a smaller version of the big ones, but we'll live with it and, and get our girls to enjoy the environment. And this building that you see here is now the new junior high school building. So this is what you're going to see, like just so a chamber everywhere that we are building junior high schools. This is what you're going to see. You go inside, there's a large compound in the middle. 
They have three science labs, biology, chemistry, and physics, not bad for junior high school. And that is what you're going to see. You put one of these buildings in the middle, in the middle of a town, and you have to close down 12 junior high schools and move all of them there. They walk in that building the first day of school with their tie and skirt and brass for the girls. And they will say to themselves, we are grateful to the President of the Republic. Next year, by this time, most of these schools will be about to open. And of course, the media will be there. And I, I have told people that, you see, we need to put people on the bus, whoever we want to go and see. My friends, distinguished friends from the media, let's hop on the bus and go and see. So that you can tell the story. Because it's not about me, it's not about even the president, it's about the transformation of this country. I go to work very early and cited 6.30, I'm at the office and I'm excited because we are changing this country. Africa will never be found in the space that we find ourselves in and Ghana will take the lead.